I just want to say, I've been blown away by the response to the reveal of CNC Rivals. Command & Conquer has been slowly suffering for years now, and I'm so glad to see the E3 audience giving it a more vocal backlash. Doubtless EA still won't do anything about it, but it's got people asking, what happened to Command & Conquer? They called it Command & Conquer for a new generation. EA intend this free-to-play atrocity to be people's first impression of the CNC franchise, and I can't abide that. I've seen people start to talk about the older games and how they missed out on them, so for those of you who never got to play CNC, here's how you can get the great old games working on your PC. If I get anything wrong, please feel free to highlight it in the comments. I'll do my best, but we are covering a lot of games here. Here we go. First of all, more or less the entire series is available on Origin via the Ultimate Collection, but I can't outright recommend it. The older games don't actually work without fan patches on most machines, and the games are tied to Origin, which sucks. The pack includes all the games we'll be covering, and these versions can be patched, but it's not the best solution. Oh, side note, the physical release of the Ultimate Collection is actually just a code for Origin, not a disc. Several of the earlier games are legally available for free. Command & Conquer, Red Alert and Tiberian Sun, along with their respective expansion packs, are available completely free and pre-patched via CNC Net. All the necessary links are in the description below. You can use the config tool installed in the game directory to adjust things like resolution. If you have a 1080 screen, try 960x540 to keep those pixels sharp. These games are designed for old CRT screens, it helps to, uh, to zoom in a bit. And many of the staples of modern RTSs are absent, such as attack move, queuing production, and selecting units by type. Also, all the Westwood games use left-click to command. Right-click didn't become an option until the 3D games. CNC Net also provides the multiplayer aspect for these games and Red Alert 2, but you'll have to read up on that, I'm not familiar myself. The later EA LA games are available to purchase individually on Steam, and I would recommend these versions as they aren't tethered to Origin. The Origin versions work fine, but as far as I know, the Origin launchers don't support command line arguments, which you need to, for instance, run the game windowed, and I believe it breaks mods as well. Fan-made launchers exist to fix this, but I've heard Origin updates break them, and it's all just a bit of a mess. They do run on Origin, unlike the early games, but if you can avoid Origin, you should. As for the games, Kane's Wrath is an expansion to Tiberium Wars, and Uprising is a single-player only expansion to Red Alert 3. Oh, it's up to you if you want to try Tiberian Twilight, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's an okay spin-off to be more than fair to it. It's got more going for it than Rivals, but it's not a CNC game. Don't let the name fool you. Be sure to skip all the cutscenes though, those are actually atrocious. The multiplayer for the 3D games up to Red Alert 3 is provided by CNC Online. As always, links below. The last few games from the Ultimate Collection, Red Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, Renegade and Generals, are, to my knowledge, not available digitally anywhere else. Even on Origin, you can only get them through the collection, not individually, so your options are limited if you want to avoid Origin. Now, if you happen to know a nice gentleman with one leg, that's your business. You can of course get these games on physical discs. The first decade collection has all the games up to and including generals. If you want to get the original discs, Yoru's Revenge is the expansion to Red Alert 2, and Zero Hour is likewise for generals, and if I remember correctly, both require the base game to run. Renegade, by the way, is an FPS based on the first CNC. Since these games are quite old and don't come pre-patched, I've included a few links to help run them, and if in doubt, check the included help guide, the PC gaming wiki, or just ask around. The help guide, by the way, covers all of the games here. And keep in mind that some of the old discs use Safe Disk DRM, which is incompatible with Windows 10. The PC gaming wiki is a useful resource for this. So ultimately, is the Ultimate Collection just not worth getting? Well, it depends. If you don't have any of the games and don't mind playing around with getting them all working, sure. 
The whole collection is the price of two of the games on Steam, more or less. Just, you will want the free patched versions of the first three games either way. If you're just filling in your collection, getting the whole bundle may not be the best option. While we're here, I'm also going to recommend the fan game OpenRA, a free modern engine running the first Command & Conquer, Red Alert 1, and Dune 2K. The game is focused on balanced competitive multiplayer, and it's well worth a look. Though not all the campaign levels have been ported yet, as they have to be done by hand. Speaking of Dune, Dune 2 is of course playable on DOSBox, but I've had a lot of fun playing with Dune Legacy, which implements such complex strategies as commanding multiple units at once. You will have to find a copy of the original game either way. Dune 2K is in OpenRA, but as of right now, only the Harkonnen campaign is complete. You can play the full game via Grunt Mods, with CNC Net supporting multiplayer. And finally, Emperor Battle for Dune. This game is known to have problems with installing, but there's an official fixed installer you can use instead. If I'm honest, I couldn't get the game to install from disk even with the fixed installer, so I had to... Uh, uh, improvise. After that, the individual game discs work fine, just make sure the game is checking the right disk drive. And there you go! That's how you can play every proper Command & Conquer game. If you've never tried them, absolutely give them a go. Before I go, from the bottom of my heart I would like to say thanks to everyone who watched our video on the CNC Rivals reveal. We normally get 5 to 10 views per video and that's fine. If one person is enjoying our videos, we're doing our job. Within a week, the Rivals video had over 10,000 views and it's, it's still just going up. My email has been flooded with comment after comment condemning EA. The response has been absolutely overwhelming. It feels like for the first time in my life, if even for the briefest of moments, I have an audience. And in this moment, I just want to say, Command & Conquer is not dead. EA are trying their level best to kill off anything that doesn't bring in money the way FIFA does. But CNC will never die. Not when there are people like you who still enjoy the games. Even if there will never be another RTS in the series, there are still 20 years worth of fantastic games to play and countless fan projects, remakes and mods. EA doesn't care for CNC. It's just one more stolen name they can stick on top of a microtransactions package. But you know what? Command & Conquer is ours now. Command & Conquer belongs to the fans. These are your games. Play them, enjoy them, share them, carry the torch for this historic series. And most importantly, don't let these stains overshadow what our games mean. Westwood Studios, Intelligent Games, Westwood Pacific, EA LA. Thank you. You guys may no longer be with us, but your games certainly are. We'll take it from here. My name is Stefan. Thank you so much for watching. Go play some CNC and have fun. Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit.